Welcome back nerds, Fino here with a guide for tonight's hunting quest. This time you have to fight Valkyries and Golems, and it's a mixed note, so things are going to get ugly. So for the whales out there, you can actually do this uh, with Space Ishtar for all three waves. Now this did require me to have NP5 with Black Grail and a charge giving Mystic Code, but it is doable. Oh yeah, or you could use her like charge up end, that works too. But setting that aside, I went with this. Now, Shuten Doji isn't strictly required, I just use her because I have her and want to show her off. Running a recent Mystic Code on her, not sorry, not Mystic Code. Running a fairly recent Craft Essence on her. This one was from the Summer 4 rerun. Now, alternatives do work. If you have servants like, say, Summer Musashi or Space Ishtar. Just some combination that can deal with the first two waves, you're good to go. You know, there are a lot of ways of skinning that cat, but unfortunately they do tend to slant in the expensive direction. I tried to do this with Jason, and uh, I'll show you why that didn't work. Maybe. Yeah, it's a real shame, I had a thumbnail and everything. Now Shuten Doji, uh, probably not the optimal servant for this situation. Because she has a... Classic one-hit Noble Phantasm. So you're gonna need every ounce of charge you can get. Nah, it's a damn shame. I had like a thumbnail and everything in a title. I was gonna like Photoshop Carmilla's face or Remedia. Alright, so it didn't spawn, but I'll tell you what's up. So the Golem on the left can be replaced with a Nobu. Now you might think it would be the Ku Nobu, and that is in fact what it says on the uh, wiki entry for this node. However, in testing, I encountered a Rider Nobu instead. Now that's a problem, because uh, Jason cannot kill that. Just straight up cannot kill that. Your Jason would need to be outrageously strong and like overgrill to do it. So unfortunately, no dice on that. Also you'd need is like starting charge append. But setting that aside, for the final wave, I did a bit of tech here. So my choice behind using Carmilla is that the Valkyrie, if I understand this correctly, is treated as both a female enemy and a divine enemy. Now, Carmilla's Noble Phantasm actually does bonus at damage against female enemies, and Fondant Al Chocolat gives damage against divine enemies. Now, those are both special modifiers, so if I remember my math correctly, they, they're they additively stacked, not multiplicative. So the damage gains won't be as huge as you'd expect, but even without, like, Shuten's Charm or the uh, Plug Suit Attack buff, you can do plenty of damage here. Now, Carmilla's battery, I'm gonna use it. You don't need to use it with this setup. But if you're trying to use a 0% charge CE, uh, you can. Now, look at that amount. It's a very strange amount of charge. Yeah, um, Carmilla's battery gives just shy of 30% for some insane reason. So, unfortunately, if you want to do a 0 charge CE with her, you'll need to run, like some form of her append skill, depending on like what vampirism is at. But if you wanted to, you can actually run verses, like if you took my advice way, way back in Caldea Boys 1. That one gives a very substantial anti-divine buff. So if your Carmilla's not NP5, it'll help you meet the damage check. And if you have neither, you can use Aerial Drive. Uh, your damage is a little lower. But if you can make it up from another source, well, you know, you're good to go. You could always give Castoria like a charge CE or run like a different front end to deal with the first two waves. But yeah, that's what I got. Sorry I couldn't make it uh, super economical, but it is what it is. Also, uh, I wanted to use Assassin Nidacris, but preemptive instant kill, it's no dice. Sorry to say. Anyway, good luck everyone. See you next time.